Hey guys, it's Marina Ray, and today we're doing my most anticipated June 2018 releases. So the first book I'm so anticipated about is Summer of Salt by Katrina Lolino. I think I said that right. And it comes out June 5th. It's about this girl Georgina and her twin sister and they're born to a family of witches that live on an island and her twin sister has already gotten her witch power magic stuff and Georgina has yet to get her witch power magic stuff and she's almost 18 so she's getting worried about it. But then something happens on the island, like something tragic, that makes everyone on the island like turn and look at them like, okay, wait, we've tolerated these people. We knew something was different about these people, but now this happened. So something makes the people's suspicion grow about the family. It seems super interesting. I'm, I'm so excited to read this. I saw it on Goodreads and I was like, heck yes, I've got to read that. The next book I'm really excited about is Save the Date by Morgan Matson, I think. It also comes out on June 5th and it's about this girl named Charlie and her one of her siblings is getting married so her and all her siblings are going to their house that they grew up in for one more weekend of fun and family time before the house is actually sold. The only thing is the weekend doesn't go as planned, some things happen, it's actually becoming a huge disaster and Charlie is just like what? This book follows the course of three days of disaster, but during that disaster, Charlie starts to learn more about her family, things she didn't know, and understand that things don't always stay the same, and sometimes change is good. Sometimes I get on contemporary kicks, so I feel like this book is going to be really good for one of those times that I'm just like, okay, I need to pick up a contemporary. I just read a heavy book. I just read heavy fantasy. I just read heavy horror. I need a contemporary. So I'm really excited to read it. The next book is Always Forever Maybe by Annika Rose Reese. I think I'm not destroying that. I may be destroying that and I'm sorry. It also comes out on June 5th and it's about this girl Betts is her name and she meets this guy Aiden and she falls head over heels for this guy. She sees nothing but him. She wants nothing but him she eats sleeps breathes nothing but him and her friend Joe begins to notice something's not quite right like she just can't put her finger on it but she does not like Aiden too well and you could chalk it up to jealousy but she just thinks something else is there so she can't get Betts to understand it though because Betts is blinded by love as we all get sometimes. So I'm not sure where it's going to go but I have a feeling Joe's going to be like hey he's not good for you and Betts going to be like uh yes he is and Joe's going to be like no I'm your best friend you listen to me and Betts is going to be like you're jealous and Aiden's going to be in the middle of it and he's going to really be like a douchebag. I don't know I haven't read it yet but that's what I'm talking up to be but also It'll be good for a contemporary book when I'm in a contemporary kick, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited to read it. The next book is Sweet Black Waves by Christina Perez, and it also comes out on June 5th. It's about two kingdoms with nothing but a bloody history. The prince's best friend actually by accident saves an enemy, and in return he gives her her healing power back. So I I'm guessing she had a healing power prior to something taking it away. I have no idea. I'm guessing she lost her healing power and now since she saved his life, he's giving it back to her, which makes you wonder why did he have the ability to give it back to her and why was it taken away from her to begin with? The healing power also gives her a dream of peace and she tries to convey that to the princess, but the princess doesn't listen. The girl, I think her name is Branwen, has to decide that she is going to fight for peace. And that requires getting in between these two kingdoms with nothing but a bloody history. I think that it's actually going to be a really interesting book. I think that you could actually go really far with that kind of story if written correctly. I'm excited to see what she does to it. And the final book that comes out on June the 26th, A Thousand Beginning and Endings by Ellen O. Elsie Chapman and Melissa Lede Cruz or Melissa De La Cruz. I can't remember. It is a combination of a bunch of Asian mythology and folk tales, I think, written by a bunch of best-selling authors, which I'm guessing is those three that I just destroyed their names. My apologies. And I'm all about some retellings and some reimaginings and stuff like that, so I figure I'm excited to read that. 
So yeah, guys, I hope that you like these videos. I will be doing these videos once a month. Um, like right now it's May, so we're doing June, and then June we'll do July, and July we'll do August, and blah, 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 blah. I will see you guys later. Make sure you watch my other videos. I've got a ton of videos going up this week. So be on the lookout for those. Click that little bell next to the subscribe button after you click the subscribe button in order to get a ding whenever I do upload videos. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and bye. I can't sit out the door.